Busy Bee family and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley. I am a mother of four. I typically do day in the life, cleaning motivation, cooking, recipes, health, fitness, pretty much anything to do with being a stay at home mom. But today I have an awesome video for you guys. It is gonna be an extreme kitchen declutter organization video. And this video is also in collaboration with my good friend here on YouTube. Hi guys, my name is Cloudy Bael. I'm a stay at home wife and mom of three kids under three. I post cooking, cleaning, motherhood, renovations, less fun three times a week every monday wednesday and friday so look forward to that i hope once you're done with ashley's video you head over to my channel and check mine out as well i would love to have you a part of my little youtube family if you decide to come over i love to chat so let me know introduce yourself down in the comments and i'll see you there so make sure you head on over to Clouded by Elle's channel after you get done watching this to see her extreme kitchen clean with me. But today for mine, I have been wanting to line my cabinets with the little liners. That way I keep any water or moisture or just nasty stuff getting into the cabinets. And I just think it's cute. And then I also need to just organize my pots and pans, go through this stuff, see if there's anything I need to throw out. So I thought I would take you guys along for that. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it today just because I'm gonna try to work when Ethan is napping since that is the easiest because he is currently getting into everything now. I hope you guys are ready for some extreme motivation to get your kitchen clean. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So of course, first I'm gonna show you guys what it is currently looking like. That way we can do a before and after shot. Hey you guys, so I am quickly taking you through all of the cabinets that I'm going to be tackling today. This is the current mess and I definitely have crumbs and all kinds of scuff marks to get off. So it is definitely going to take me some time. I did not anticipate how long this was going to take me. It was an all day ordeal. It took me two nap times and until past 11 o'clock at night. So it was a huge mess to tackle, but I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I hope you get some cleaning motivation from it. And if you have been neglecting the cabinets in your kitchen, then I hope this encourages you to get organized and clean them up. But I would suggest probably splitting it up because it took me forever. But we are gonna start by pulling everything out. And I use my Method All Purpose Cleaner to clean the cabinets and then my Magic Eraser to get the scuff marks out. And you guys, the Magic Eraser was a lifesaver because the metal that scraped the cabinets, I thought it was going to not come out, but that Magic Eraser really works so well. So if you haven't tried a Magic Eraser, I highly suggest it. So there are tons of scuff marks just from the heavy pots and pans and stuff. So I'm going to use my magic eraser and see if I can get it out. But let me show you what the marks look like. That magic eraser is amazing. It got out all the scuffs. I mean, obviously I still have like, these are actual dents in the wood, but all the scuff marks came out. Now time to line it. Thank you. 
this cabinet was probably the most difficult one to line just because of the weird shape it was. I ended up using a lot more liner than I probably should have, but the shape was just so hard to cut the liner just right. You know that I'm a keep it cold. With you, I feel like breaking rules. Only edge looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around without a clue. Only Clearly, I did not buy enough. <laughs> So now that I have everything pulled out, I can see exactly what was in the cabinet and I threw away a lot of things that I just never used. I have two ninjas, one smaller one and one bigger one. So I just had a lot of containers for those that I really didn't need. So I just threw those out and then gave everything a good wipe down before I put it back into the cabinet. Clearly not gonna have enough lining. I think I'm gonna do the areas where they get scuffed up the most and then I will pick up some more hopefully soon. So I'm not sure if we're gonna line all the cabinets but we're definitely gonna declutter all of them. These two smaller drawers were sort of like junk drawers. They were a catch-all. I keep my batteries in there and then I had some random books and bills. So it was time to go through that and get more organized. I'm curious, do you guys have a junk drawer in your house? If you do, do you have just one? Do you have multiple? I am very embarrassed to say I actually have five. So in this video, you only see these two, but I actually have three more that are way worse than this was but i will tackle that another day because those alone would take me so long but i would love to know if you guys also have a problem with too many junk drawers next is the drawer where i keep all of my kitchen towels and ethan's bibs I bought some bins to help organize this drawer and I think it turned out really good. I went ahead and rolled these towels and I could fit a lot more in the little bin that I had bought. So I feel like this turned out really good and I bought those bins from the dollar store. This next drawer is a little collection of everything, mainly the sippy cups and bottles and then the oven mittens i had a bottle warmer in there i just really needed to go through the bottles because i had so many from when ethan was a baby that he didn't really like the nipple and i've just been hanging on to them really for no reason so it was time to go through everything throw out what wasn't used and give this drawer a good wipe down This drawer was by far the nastiest because of my toaster in there. It had so many breadcrumbs and then my Instapot also is in there. So you could tell that I really needed to clean the toaster and the Instapot, <laughs> give it a good wipe down. And our toaster is so old, it has burnt on stuff that would not come off even though I tried scrubbing it but I guess you would get some stains after owning the same toaster for nearly 15 years. Mm -hmm. 
So I just want to quickly introduce myself in case you are new here and you came over from L'Oreal's channel. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel and checking out my video. I am a mother to four wonderful children. I am married to my high school sweetheart. He and I have been together for 14 years now. And my channel consists of day in the life, vlogging, as well as cleaning motivation, cooking recipes, health fitness. I really do enjoy working out. So I like to share that on my channel every once in a while as well. So I hope you guys decide to join my YouTube family. If you do, I would greatly appreciate it. And let me know in the comments below if you're new here. I really enjoy chatting with all of my subscribers. So make sure you introduce yourself. And also don't forget to check me out on my Instagram. It is FitBusyB because I post regularly on there and you can see more of my daily life if you would like to see more of me. I think these pull-out drawers are so cute, but they are a little difficult to actually store stuff in because they are pretty small. You can't fit things that are very tall. So the only problem with my kitchen is that so many of these drawers do have the pull-outs, which make it really difficult for me to fit my big appliances. So that's one thing that I do wish they had more of were tall cabinet spaces to just fit all the appliances that you typically have in a kitchen. So like my air fryer, I have to keep that in my pantry because it just can't fit in any of the drawers. So that is the one pet peeve I don't like about my kitchen. I have so many cooking utensils. This basket is overflowing. I probably should get one a little bit deeper just to hold them in a little better, but I decided to put the bigger utensils in the back that, since they didn't fit that well in the basket. And then I put the strainers on the side and just tried to make it a little more organized. Que será, será, que será. 
eres una prueba que el mundo a mí nunca me brindó Quería casarme, yo tan loco en ilusionarme Creyendo en tus besos y tus caricias, la verdad no fue el culpable Ay, Todo tiene un propósito y dejarme será solo uno más Siempre a medias no he logrado encontrar mi otra mitad El tiempo dirá, el tiempo dirá Y cuando lo encuentre de ti no me voy a acordar El día que me falte tu piel ¿Qué será, será, qué será No seas parte I am really wishing that when we first moved in, I took the time to line the cabinets. That was the plan, but we actually moved into this house three days before Christmas, and it was such a rush and hectic time that I ended up just throwing everything into a cabinet and put it off until now. So i'm glad that i'm finally getting to it because i really didn't want the cabinets getting ruined from all the pots and pans just scuffing everything up especially since it's white this is the first time we've ever had white cabinets and i can definitely tell you notice things on them a lot easier compared to dark ones so i'm trying to take better care hopefully having these liners will help protect them and make them last a little longer so do you guys use liners in your cabinets i would love to know in the comments below this is the drawer that is full of all my storage containers this was probably one of the messiest just because it's so hard to organize the glass containers i love that we are slowly switching over to glass containers but they're a little bit harder to store and my daughter is the one who usually picks up the dishes so she has been just kind of throwing them in there and they were such a mess but i ended up using one of the bigger baskets to store all of the lids in and i really think it did help and the drawer has stayed looking nice and neat ever since I did this. I did record this about three weeks ago, so it has been a while since I organized, but I am happy to say that using these bins have really improved the organization in my kitchen. So I'm really excited to do the upper half of the kitchen. Hopefully I will get to that very soon. And I really hope this is encouraging you to organize your kitchen and giving you some ideas for ways to better organize inside of your cabinets. Let me know in the comments below if this has been helpful for you guys. And I know sometimes I'm bringing you down, but I always make you smile. Not the best of me. We're a little messed up, baby. Kind of up and down, and we keep falling till we hit the ground. But then we, oh, we get back up again. Yeah, we're a little messed up, baby. It's never getting boring when we keep coming for the stars, just you and me. Oh, we always get back up again. You and me.
So I attempted to put the products into the baskets just because when I reach in there to grab something, as you can see, I clearly have way too many cleaning products. But when I reach in there, I typically knock a bunch down and then they fall out of the cabinet and it's just so frustrating. So I have found that putting the bins in here to hold the products up has really helped. That way when I go reaching in there, at least they are confined in the container and they're not falling out of the cabinet. But I definitely need to go through and throw out some or just finish using them up. I am so bad about getting something new and being so excited to try it out that I don't finish up an old product. So I have really been trying to use up the ones that are running lower. So now that I finished organizing the lower half, I decided to give all the cabinets a good wipe down and then it was time to dust the light fixtures. So I just did some dusting and some good wipe down before getting ready for bed. It felt so good when I was done. I couldn't believe the transformation. It looked so much better. Even my husband was saying how much he loved the way that I organized it. So it was a job well done. It took me forever, but it was so worth it. So I hope you guys got some motivation and some ideas for your kitchen. And let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. If you have any ideas for me, which would make my kitchen even better because I am still trying to figure out if there's a better way to put all of my pots and pans. Like I said, it's just a lot smaller inside each cabinet. So finding where each one should go has been difficult for me so if you have any ideas feel free to let me know i would really appreciate it and i want to give a big thank you to l'oreal for doing this collab with me i was so excited that we got together to do this and i can't wait to see her kitchen declutter and clean with me i know she's going to do an amazing job so be sure to head on over to Clouded by Elle's channel after you get done watching my video. Her link will be in the description below and let her know that I sent you. Finally, the kitchen is all done. So I will take you guys through each drawer and show you what the finished product looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comments below. It is super late now. I finally finished the kitchen. I definitely need to get some more of that liner so I can do the upper half of the kitchen, but I'm so happy with how the cabinets turned out and how much more organized it is. Make sure when you get done watching this, you head on over to Clouded by Elle's channel. She is also doing a extreme kitchen clean and I know you guys will love her. So make sure you click the link in the description below and check her out and let her know I sent you. It took me two nap times and bedtime to get the lower half of this kitchen done. It is 11 o'clock at night, so I'm finally done and ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It does help support my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.